Good morning. So this morning I performed a, a science experiment for Sutton's Bay Elementary students, kindergarten first and second. And I kind of want to share it because it's a good experiment that actually applies to all ages. College students will do this experiment. Kindergartners can enjoy this experiment, everything in between. Um, and it's a color change experiment. So what I have here is actually this purple, uh, purple water is cabbage water. So what I've done is I soaked cabbage in water. You have to use purple cabbage to get the purple water. Uh, it's a little gross, but you get this really cool purple water. And in this experiment, I ask students if I can change the color of this liquid by adding a clear liquid. Can I change the color of something by adding a clear liquid? Another reason I like this experiment is because it asks the fundamental uh, scientific tools to be used. Did you notice something changed? Did you ask how it changed? If you can do those two things, you're a scientist. Did something change? How did it change? Today we're going to use one of our senses, sight, to notice that change. So I'm going to take my purple water, pour it into this little cup. Still purple. And let's start with the vinegar. I'm going to add vinegar to the purple water. I will notice the change if a change occurs. I might be able to zoom in. Let me try. I can. So it has changed to pink. Pretty cool. But now if you're a, a skeptical scientist and you're looking for more proof, you might say, well, Mr. Simons, you, you just added a clear liquid to purple. So of course it's going to lighten up. It's going to look a little pink. Well, you might be onto something, so let's try it again. Let's repeat the experiment, but we'll change one of the variables. Purple water, one more time. I think we can all agree it is still purple. We're using our sight to determine that it's still purple. This time I'm going to add another clear liquid. I'm going to add ammonia. Again, ammonia is clear. Can I add a clear liquid to a purple liquid and change a color? Now let's make sure I don't spill anything. And look at that. I'll zoom in a little bit because now this purple liquid is a really cool green color. Add a little more, see if it gets more green. So what you're seeing, you're actually seeing a chemical reaction. And because it's a chemical reaction, I think, I think I might be able to reverse the reaction. Now, how would I do that? I'm going to take this green liquid. I'm going to add vinegar to it. Let's see if I can reverse the reaction. I'm just going to add a little bit doesn't take much. No change yet. Oh, here we go. I saw a flash there. And actually, we kind of went all the way. We kind of skipped purple, and we went right to pink. Zoom in, get a look at the pink water now. Um, if you want to repeat this experiment, white vinegar, actually this is even white wine vinegar, clear ammonia, cabbage water. You take the cabbage, microwave it for about three minutes, turns the water purple, add water to the cabbage of course, um, and then you can begin experiment, uh, experimenting on your own. I did not wear gloves. I am going to wash my hands when I'm done. Um, Ventilation is important because you don't want to breathe all of this uh, ammonia for too long, so open a window. It's great for younger audiences for this experiment because 
you could talk about senses and then seeing something change. As you get into older grades in high school and in college, um, you're seeing a chemical reaction. And why is there a reaction? Uh, vinegar is an acid. Ammonia is a base. The cabbage water, cabbage is, is close to neutral. Um, and so when we add these to a neutral, um, to a neutral substance, when you see a color change, you're actually protons are being exchanged. So during that chemical reaction, a proton is exchanged, and you get a different color as a result of the reaction. So like I said, it's good for everybody. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.